YouTube, YouTube viewers, Mark 9 tells us all things are possible to those who believe. Romans 10 says, faith comes by hearing, hearing by God's word. Now God's word is the Bible. Hebrews 11, without faith it is impossible to please God. YouTube viewers, the day before I made this video, I did a live stream here on YouTube, praying for God to give people new body parts, praying for people to be healed of all sicknesses, injuries, and disease in every way. Well, when I sent my dad a link to that live stream, he said, son, God can't do that. God can't talk about that. I mean, God can't heal. God cannot heal people. That is what my dad told me. But hello, Romans 10, faith comes by hearing, hearing by God's word. Mark 9, all things are possible to those who believe. Titus 1, the Lord does not lie. Malachi 3, the Lord does not change. Isaiah 53 and 1 Peter 2, both, both say, by his stripes we were healed. So YouTube viewers, let me just tell you, something. One moment. Whoever's in the bathroom, please be quiet. So, so YouTube viewers, let me tell you something. If and when someone tells you God cannot do something or he will not do something, let the Bible passages that I just mentioned keep you on your knees. <laughs> because Romans 10 says, Faith comes by hearing, hearing by God's word. Mark 9, all things are possible to those who believe. Hebrews 11, without faith it is impossible to please God. First Peter 2 and Isaiah 53, they both say by his stripes, we were healed. First, First Thessalonians 5 tells us to pray without ceasing. Well, YouTube viewers, listen. John chapter 14 is where Jesus tells us, If you love me, keep my commandments. Well, John chapter 15 is where Jesus tells us, if we keep his commandments, we are his friends. So YouTube viewers, whenever someone tells you that God can't do this or that, or that God won't do this or that, just let that make you want to read your Bible, because Mark chapter 9 and Romans chapter 10, Titus chapter 1, Malachi chapter 3. Romans chapter 10, Mark chapter 9, Titus chapter 1, Malachi chapter 3. Let this just I I encourage you. Whenever someone tells you that God cannot do something or that, or that God will not do something, just, just let this encourage you to get down on your knees and talk to God. Let that just give you the reasons to be alone with God. Because listen, First, First Thessalonians 5 says pray without ceasing. Matthew chapter 6 tells us when you pray. Not if you pray, but when you pray. Matthew 6 tells us. When you pray, enter into your closet and pray to your heavenly Father secretly. But, but, last night when my dad told me God could not or would not give people new body parts, I said, Dad, from now on, if you're going to talk to me, I said, Dad, from now on, I said, Dad, from now on, if you're going to talk to me, don't be saying that God can't do something or God won't do something. 
because Mark 9 says all things are possible to those who believe. So let Matthew 6, Romans 10, Hebrews 11, and Titus 1, and Malachi 3, and 1 Peter 2, and Isaiah 53, and 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 including my 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 experience with my father let all of those things just encourage you whenever someone tells you god cannot do something or he won't do something let all of those things including my experience chat talk and convert and conversation that i had the night before i made this video let all of that with my father let that chat with my father let my conversation with my father and let all of those bible passages let those bible passages encourage you to tell others hey leave me alone i am getting alone with god let that let that conversation i had with my dad and let all of those bible verses encourage you to let others know hey unless it's a life or death emergency at this time i will not be taking any calls or texts tell them hey unless it's a life or death emergency tell them hey for this amount of time i won't be answering any calls or texts tell them you won't be answering your phone because tell them i need to be left alone undisturbed with god so i can get faith because of romans 10 and hebrews 11. youtube youtube of viewers i apologize for having to yell at someone to be quiet but they were distracting and and interrupting me but but youtube of viewers if this video encouraged you if this video helped you helped you believe in god and believe what god says more please let me know in the comments below but anytime you're not able to leave a comment that is always by pure accident thank you so much i really want to know if this video helped you get more faith if this video helped you get more faith, please uh, specifically say in the comments that this helped you get more faith and believe in God and believe what the Bible says more. Please specifically tell me if, if this video helped you believe what the Bible says more. And also, please like, share, and subscribe and also please make yourself a reminder that blake says anytime we're not able to leave a comment on any of his videos that is always by pure accident thank you i'll talk to you soon